Yo, what's up everybody, and welcome to the Budkai 5k Grand Tournament of From the Depths. We have 28 competitors this time around, uh, more competitors than we've ever had before, so I'm not going to go into detail on everyone's ship designs and such things like that, but I will show you the lineup right here, and I went ahead and randomly uh, gave everyone a number using two six-sided dice, uh, so you know, the num numbers are going to be between 11 and 66 for everyone's placement in the tournament, it's all been randomized, and there are four buys, so those people won't be fighting anyone. They'll be going ahead and moving straight along. But yeah, so we have a huge turnout. This is going to be a huge epic tournament. And uh, without further ado, I think we're going to jump right into it with the first round. So first round, go. Naza Blade Desolator versus the X-Jet. X-Jet already going out with, the, uh, with a huge volley of shots. Oh, and a huge volley of bombs and missiles. Oh my gosh, look at that close range. So you got a long range barrage. Missile uh, barrage, bomb barrage. Uh, oh, and the Desolator is taking shots at the flyer here. Uh, I will go ahead. I'm, I'm assuming those bombs that the X Jet dropped are magnetic. Oh, he's getting wrecked on his tail section. He is totally getting blown apart back here. And the Desolator is still shooting. They're both still shooting at each other, having a good fight about it. Uh, I'm actually amazed that the X Jet is still flying. Oh, looks like he just stopped. Looks like he just stepped midair. Are the shots still coming from the uh, Desolator? Looks like they are. Oh yeah, here they come. Oh, looks like the X-Jet has been stopped, but why? How? Oh, incredible. Oh, here come the purple penetrating shots from the Desolator. No way. I don't know what happened to the X-Jet. Uh, how's his PC? Oh, I can't check that. Right. Looks like he's been silenced. He's been brought down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this play out a little more and see uh, see what happens exactly. Oh, I almost thought I saw a shark there. <laughs> Alright, there is something very strange here happening with the uh, X-Jet. I'm not sure what it is. I'm trying to rush the camera over here. He keeps kind of taking up and flying around, and uh, it seems like his AI is, is, is having serious issues flying and finding targets uh, after the initial attack run. So I'm going to go ahead and give this round to the Desolator. This is still best 2 out of 3, uh, but, it, but the Desolator is over there uh, in full working order still. Uh, looking for his target, uh, spinning around, moving around, uh, operational, as the X-Jet is not. So, okay, so best two out of three, here we go. This time the Desolator spawning in second. Uh, who will go ahead and take one another out? Um, Desolator having trouble with the uh, direct overhead targets. He wanted close range, and the X-Jet wanted long range, so I kind of do a little uh, little switcheroo. Oh, it looks like the shots are coming up. Why is the X-Jet going so slow? Oh, no, he's getting rammed with those shots. He is in a spin now. Kind of where the Desolator wants him. Oh, <laughs> or maybe, maybe he's where exactly where he wants to be. What in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness, that is incredible. He's dropping a. Let's see these bombs here in action. Um, so it looks like when the Desolator injured injured the uh, X Jet, it looks like it was just what the X Jet, X -Jet needed. In fact, because now he can drop his bombs without having to make long attack runs, and he seems to be just out of uh, the Desolator's firing arc. He's just floating up there. How is he even doing that? I don't even I don't even understand. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like he repaired himself a little bit. And here come a ton of missile shots. But they don't seem to be doing much damage to the Desolator. A little bit of damage. I see he's got some repair bots sneaking in there. X-Jet flying around in circles. I guess that's good. <laughs> oh. No one's really shooting. It looks like maybe the Desolator is silenced, perhaps? I tell you, that armor on this top is pretty good. Oh. Maybe not that good. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what the heck? There's like no damage from those like 500 missiles. What the heck? Oh, here come the bombs. <laughs> oh, and I'm guessing they are mag- Yes, they are indeed magnetized. They are going straight to the Desolator. Where is this X-Jet at? Let me zoom out. Let me see what's going on here. So he is just doing circles. That's very cool. He's doing circles. All right, so let's just- uh, I'm going to let this play out a little more. And I also noticed that the X-Jet has a laser on board. It's similar design to, uh, to mine, actually, in the last tournament. Uh, so that's very cool. He's going around. Wow, he's, he's actually... I don't know. I don't know if my camera is slow or what. I'm trying to move the camera as fast as I can, but it's kind of taking forever. Okay, so more missiles. Looks like the X-Jet has the advantage here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Desolator is silenced for sure. Yeah, there's no way he can take that kind of damage. That laser coming in. What kind of damage is that laser doing? He's doing, he's not doing much damage, but he's doing enough to, uh, to go ahead and take out, yeah, to really render this guy inoperable. Oh, yeah, now here come the frags. Hello. Oh, look at the frags just, like, shooting in through the windows here that have been made by the, uh, lasers. 
Yeah, okay. So this round is going to go to the X-Jet, who is uh, flying off. Yeah, he's zapping with the lasers still. Okay. Nice. So best two out of three. Here we go. This one determines who is the champ. Here we go. Last round for these two. Who is going to come out on top? X-Jet or the Desolator? <laughs> so, oh, look at that. Nice round of bombs spinning about in the air. Like, in, uh, oh, that's very, that's very kind of artistic. Okay, so heavy hits. Heavy, heavy alpha strike by the jet. I mean, like, that kind of, uh, that kind of did it, I think. That kind of silenced, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at these, <laughs> look at these bombs just, like, doing, like, a little reading rainbow, like, all, all around this, uh, <laughs> there's, like, wow, reading rainbow. But the X-Jet is kind of floundering out there. No, he's not floundering, he's shooting, he knows exactly what he's doing. His laser is going ahead, spinning around, uh, behind himself, and shooting his laserness at the Desolator. Long-range cruise missiles coming in. Uh, to bombard. Oh, the poor Desolator. Let's let's see if we can get another inside shot. That was kind of cool. Can we get some inside frag shots? Oh. Alright. Well, I'm going to let this play out a little more. Uh, if the X-Jet has an AI malfunction... Oh, wait. <laughs> this looks pretty, uh, this looks pretty done. Oh, yeah, I think his weapon system is going to be completely taken out by these, uh, cruise missiles that just kind of flew in. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna see how this plays out, but if the X-Jet doesn't return... Oh wait, there he is! He's coming back! He's coming back for a win! He's like, I ain't, I ain't flying away this time, like in the first round. I'm coming back for a nice bombing run. Look at that perfection right there. Now, now, he's, now he's definitely uh, he's definitely on top here. Oh, and the bombs are a raining down onto the Desolator. Okay, so we have our winner of round one. Congratulations, X-Jet, with your multitude of bombs and such things. Uh, you move on to the next round. This is the second of our first 16 rounds. It is the Storm Razor, Solus's Storm Razor versus the HMS, uh, something, Daring. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these missiles coming in against the Storm, Storm Razor. Oh my gosh, can he with, can he withhold, can we, uh, can he hang in there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, what is going on? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out this away. So the Storm Razor has some lasers on board. He has some anti-missile. Looks like he's not being phased by the barrage of missiles from the ships all around and from the copters. Where are these copters at? Maybe they were brought down. Oh, here they are. Oh, there's an explosion happening on the side of the Razor. Uh, copters are just hanging out. I don't think they're... Maybe they're reloading. Maybe they ran out of ammo. Who knows? The Storm Razor is trying to get in for a little cut. Looks like he may do it. He may come in for a cut. But does he have the offense? Oh, look at this. He's like... It's like some kind of uh, alien. Oh, is he going to slice? Is he gonna dice? Oh, he's going in the water. Uh oh. I don't know about that. I don't know about if the uh, if the missiles can go ahead and uh, get him under the water there. Maybe. But looks like he's having a hard day under there. Maybe he wants to like dig down to uh, to another continent. Who knows? But all right, I'm gonna let this play out and uh, see see what resolves of this. Yeah. Whoa, we've got an explosion here underwater of the HMS Daring. Uh, Oh, there, there we go, the repair re repair bots just started repairing, finally, uh, Solus's ship. They weren't repairing for a while, don't know why that was. I spawned everyone in as enemy factions. Uh, oh man, but even with that underwater explosion, the Daring is still shooting. I mean, look at this hole, look at this huge hole in here. I mean, it's just, it's just total chaos. But the lasers are still shooting, so I'm gonna have to let this play out. He is repairing, though, so he may resurface. He may, because the missiles are having a hard time yeah, they're having a hard time getting in on here, so... Alright. I'm just gonna keep letting this play out. Oh, we've got some decent explosions happening here underwater. Uh, the Storm Razor has taken out one of these little uh, tugboat dudes right here, just chilling out here. But, uh, to me, the winner is the HMS Daring in this in this round, because... I mean, like, I don't like ships that, uh, that get disabled and just, like, can't move, so... So I'm gonna give this round to the HMS Daring. Uh, for his constant shooting, but he's still able to move, he's still able to shoot just fine. Uh, and he is not going down yet. Or is he? Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna let this play out a few more minutes, but I do believe the Daring will win this one. No, yeah, it seems like the Razor is disabled here, because his repair tentacles here have been taken off his ship, and he is now stuck under here. Still shooting at the little bits and pieces over there. Oh, it's, it's we're still repairing, but I don't know. He, he's just stuck here. He's been stuck here for, like, a good long while. And he's not moving. So this round goes to the Daring. Let's have the second round. Let's see if El Boido's uh, HMS Daring can pull off another one. Here we go. Now, from his point of view, spawning in seconds, 
shooting tons of- oh, I think he actually hit himself with some missiles. Launching just a whole array of missiles at the Storm Razor. Uh, can he- oh, it looks like Storm Razor's doing fine. He's taking out most of the missiles here. Uh, as we see them coming in here. They are- oh, there's some connecting, but they are fragging and hitting his shields. Oh, wait, that- <laughs> yeah, there's some of those- one of those made it in, actually. But he is repairing. He is repairing as he's moving. But what what is he targeting though? It looks like he's targeting one of the uh, the helicopters first, which I think is a is a poor choice. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good. Uh, oh well, yeah, it looks like he blew up a helicopter. Hooray! Yeah, as he gets bombarded from underneath and blew up the second helicopter. Look at them apples. Oh, in fantastic fashion. Totally blew them up. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if he's gonna go ahead and ram someone. I don't even know if he can ram uh like like a ship down here. I mean, like, he really wants to get to these pieces. What the heck? Is, did he claim this as his own? No. What the heck is repairing uh, these helicopters? Did they, are they still having, like... Oh, it's this guy. This guy, The Daring is actually... The uh, flagship is repairing the helicopters still. That's very, uh... Very interesting. But it looks to me... Oh, look at that Razor. He's just, like, very short attack runs. Coming on in with his, with his lasers, his anti-missile lasers. Uh, blasting away, so it seems. He's doing some damage. And he can, he's taking a lot of damage. Got the little tugboat over there just kind of helping out. Being a little distraction. Missile's still flying in. Oh, they're going to be targeting his repair relay. Um, That might be trouble. Because if he can't repair, then he may be in a bit of trouble. Oh, man, look at all these. This, this ship is amazing. Look at him go. Although, he's starting to slow down, though. Maybe he's running out of ammo. Yeah, it looks like he's running out of ammo. Not too many missiles coming up. Looks like he has a lot of heat seeker missiles as well. Uh, because they're not quite... Yep, okay. Alright, I'm gonna let this play out a little longer. Yeah, coming in for another attack run. Looks like the Storm Razor's lasers are doing a little bit of damage. Kinda putting off the HMS Daring flagship. He has found his target now, his correct target. Oh, he's shooting at some other thing up out in the sky there. I don't know what the heck that was, but something just evaporated. But yeah, it looks like his lasers aren't that strong. He definitely focused a lot of his resources on the spinny, uh, spinny cutty things. I really want to see that hit someone one day. <laughs> I really, I mean, I can only imagine the destruction that those spinny dudes can do, uh, to colliding. But okay, it looks like Storm Razor might actually have this battle. Because he is doing quite a bit of damage with that laser coming in there. And he seems to be in perfect condition. He seems to be in really perfect condition as he repairs himself. Yeah. And he's, he's socking it to it. I mean, you know, those two boats are repairing each other, but I believe overall in this round, the Storm Razor has it. And if anything changes, I'll go back and, uh, and correct it. But as of now, Storm Razor has this round. Let's move on to the next round. Okay, so let's see if the HMS Daring flagship can go ahead and get the dirty job done of bringing down the Razor before he runs out of ammo. This is the key for him because, like, last time he was floundering, he wasn't generating ammo fast enough to keep on launching his missiles as he's doing now. So let's see if this Alpha Strike can go ahead and take out the Razor. Because that's what he needs, because the Razor's lasers, they, uh, they, they don't just disappear. Oh, look at that repairability. Ay ay ay. Razor's repairing quite quickly. Looks like there needs to be more offense had here. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll go ahead and down him and get a lucky kill. And the Razor's coming in. What's the Razor targeting? Looks like he's targeting the uh, flagship, as he should. Oh, it's pretty loud around here. <laughs> lots of shooting, lots of uh, shots going off. Look at that. That's pretty... That's pretty Awesome. Oh, look at the ricochet of the frags going off of the uh, Storm Razor's lasers uh, shields. <laughs> oh, he's getting put off. Will there be an explosion on... Oh, there is an explosion. There is something on this side that keeps getting hit. Some large, large explosion. What did it do exactly? I'm not sure. Oh, he just turned like all smoky black and stuff. Yeah, he's kind of charred up. What in the blazes? Oh, his shields are failing. <gasps> this could be it. This could be it. His shields are failing. What the heck are those? Oh, there's a repair, repair. Oh my gosh, he's getting, he's getting destroyed from his, from his side here. The, uh, the missile defense is not working. Power is going down. Shields are failing. Uh, spinny thing is still spinning, but will that be, oh, spinny thing is hitting his own repair bots. Uh, or his own repair tentacles. Oh no. This is incredible. He cannot repair fast enough, but can, can, can the daring supply enough missiles to continue working away at his weak spot? That is the question. I mean, look, even the copters are shooting 
I'm blowing up. <laughs> Blades falling off. <laughs> oh, he's going down. All right, so it looks like Storm Razor will find his new target, which is the big juicy dude right here. Oh, what a tank. I can't believe he's still flying after all that. I can't believe it. That's a very defensive design, I tell you that. Oh, what, now where are these missiles going? All right. Oh, he's coming around. Okay, I'm gonna let this play out. Oh, it seems like... It seems like the missiles have got him on a bank. He is going into the water. Once he hits the water, I think that's kind of the end of his design. Because he doesn't really have any way to get out of the water and be, uh... Oh, there he goes. He pulled up just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. Oh, okay, here he goes. This, this is like... He might be coming in for, uh... For a scratch. You coming in for a scratch? Yeah. Yeah, you coming in for a scratch? Maybe? Uh-oh. He's going in for, uh, for a swim, not a scratch. Darn it! Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Cookie, uh, Oreo cookie in the water. Uh, of doom. Uh-oh. Okay, well... Oh man, everyone's kinda topsy-turvy right now. Just missiles and lasers flying everywhere. Uh, so unfortunately, I have to call a winner now. Have to call a winner. Uh, because both these designs are amazing, they're fantastic, but the Storm, uh, Razor has been stuck like this yet again underwater and that is uh... They, they cannot be... I mean he's shooting a little bit side to side but he's stuck he cannot use his primary weapon which is the slash and hack and, and uh... and all that kind of stuff he can't do it and he's just stuck so the winner is gonna have to be the HMS Daring and he is a good competitor as well this is no... this is uh... this is a very good fight and uh... and both of these guys have done an excellent job in designing their ships so but this round goes to HMS Daring because he is still functional moving and shooting and uh, and not stuck so all right so on to round three of 16 <laughs> in the third round we have Vinster's Big Bang versus oh my gosh <laughs> versus versus Clay's uh, Bombardiers and oh my goodness gracious we have missiles versus missiles a total apocalyptic battle uh, I don't know if these guys up here are decoys on Clay's side or what oh it looks like they are it looks like they're rammer decoys oh here come the missiles they're coming in for an attack Boom! Oh my goodness, the, the horrendous calamity of it all. Oh, missiles flying up. This is total, total destruction. Oh my goodness. Ken? So it looks like Clay's decoys are working. As all the missiles from, from, the, uh, from the Big Bang are Big Bang and the, uh, the Rammer Flyers up above. As the rest of the bombardiers from Clay's side are doing exactly what their name is, bombardiering. Everything on Vinster's Big Bang. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at these stream of missiles here, just rocketing in. And I'm guessing this is a huge Alpha Strike formation because I don't think these guys can go ahead and continue generating their ammo as they're doing like this right now. Uh, all right, so we have laser boat. We got two missile boats. We got all these dudes up here launching missiles, but I don't know how they're generating missiles. Honestly, like, let's let's take a look at these designs here. Uh, oh. Oh, he's got very good engine design and a lot of ammo. Pro okay, never mind. Yeah, he can he can definitely generate missiles like that. He's got a lot of power up up in those little things. Yeah, very good engine design. And it looks like the big bang is uh, is banging big right here. Oh yeah, he just he just uh, he just banged. Yeah. Wow, but he was pretty darn tough for taking all these missiles though. He really outlasted that alpha strike. That was that was good. That was really good. But it looks to me like we have a winner of this round. Uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, it is Clay's. Clay's absolute offensive, huge alpha striking. Uh, I mean, God, look at that, they're still striking. That's terrifying, it's absolutely terrifying and fantastic. All right, best two out of three. This time loading in the Bombardier's second. Uh, will they still continue? Oh, it's such a fancy thing. Oh, look at that, the missiles flying all over the place. Wow. So will they still make uh, the, the, uh, the Big Bang uh, have a not so bright day? So they're floating up with those balloons. I really like that. They have, they have those missile pods with floating balloons. Huge alpha strike. I mean, look at the lasers. Look at the missile streaks coming in here. Uh, oh, where are those lasers from the Big Bang targeting? I mean, it looks like they're, they're, they're targeting these close-up dudes. Oh, just absolute destruction. Oh, it's crazy. I mean, like, the thing with the lasers is, is that they're very temperamental. If they take any damage from, like, any areas or any engine, uh, they kind of, like, stop working really easily. And it seems like the lasers, in this case, only work. <laughs> oh, here we go. They're still working. Oh, 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 okay, I see. These are anti-missile lasers for the most part. Uh, but his shield has been taken out uh, by a heavy barrage of missiles, so it seems to me. <laughs> so it seems. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Let's get this from, like, a, a first-person view here. All right, what kind of damage is this doing here? Um, it's doing a lot of damage, so it seems. Oh, yeah, his engine's taking damage now from all the little frags that are just dancing around in, in, his, in his engine blocks. Uh, yeah. Little frags are dancing around. They're doing a dance. Oh, and bombs and... Oh, my gosh. I can't even, like, comprehend. But it seems to me that the Bombardiers, Clay of OZDCS Gaming, his Bombardiers have won this, this uh, match absolutely, hands down. So he's going to be a tough fight for later. I mean, even though he's lost some, uh, some ships here and there, some missile ships are blowing up. Uh, I do believe he has tons of targets uh, that need to be taken out. I mean, it's just, it's just pure offense. It's pure offense, and it's very cool. Really, really great strategy, really great designs with these engines here, generating the MO that he needs. I mean, like, it's just, it's just bare bones. But it works. It absolutely works. Okay, all right, so next round. Uh, I believe it's the Bible. Let me just preview the ship and close out the episode. On the misty mountaintops, Kaz's herp and derp. <laughs> Wait for an opponent. Oh no! <laughs> this, <laughs> uh, yeah, he has the buy this round. So he will be automatically moving on to the uh, semifinals or, or whatever. Yeah, something like that. So, so congratulations to him. Uh, his herp and derp flying around with the, with the big happy, big happy uh, gun arms. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so... I will see you guys next episode where we will continue off the competition. Uh, I guess starting with round five, and uh, round five out of sixteen of the first rounds before we get to the semifinals, finals, and decide who the champion is. This is an epic tournament. It's going to take a while, but I am uploading two episodes every three days. So look forward to it, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye bye.